Hi Pisces. It's raining here in New York and it's very gray and I love it. <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a good morning. Is it afternoon yet? No. Okay. <laughs> you know the deal. This is your collective reading. Pisces, thank you for being here. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing and sharing. Special shout out to Bill Curtis. He was the first one to remind me that the Wheel of Fortune is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Oh my God, I've already forgotten the fourth <laughs> zodiac sign. Thank you, Bill, though. And thank you to Casey S for pointing out that she said when I should pay attention when Neptune and Jupiter hop up into the reading because Neptune, planet Neptune, rules our intuition. So when she hops up, if you notice it, and I don't remember to say it, when Neptune hops up, that's a sign to like trust your intuition or something about your intuition. Whereas when Jupiter hops up, the planet Jupiter represents expansion and abundance. So Casey S, thank you so much for that. That was so <clears throat> insightful and got me excited this morning. All right, Pisces, we are opening up with, sorry, you don't even see my whole ass life, right? <laughs> We're opening up with judgment. Come in, in hot, okay? Seven of wands in reverse, two of wands. So we're still on this in this, you know, decision-making, finding our path energy. Okay, I'm not going to keep these. It's too many, but painful endings from the past. <clears throat> it's that time of year, right? Shadows coming up left and right. Knight of Pentacles. Haven't really seen him in a, in a while, right? I feel like I talked so much shit about him. He saw himself out. Pisces, I hope you guys are recovering from the holiday. If you celebrate, I hope you're enjoying the holiday season. If you celebrate, I know we have some Australian Pisces watching. <clears throat> okay, that was way too hard to take out, so I'm not taking them out. Three of Pentacles in reverse as your center anchored card. Yeah, you don't want to, there's somebody you don't want to work with, somebody you, want, you don't want to deal with anymore. All right, three more, Spirit. Yes, and you shall receive, right? All right. Two of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Interesting, because yesterday was Lovers in reverse at the bottom of the deck, right? Very similar. Um, two of Cups is the Lovers in the Minor Arcana. <clears throat> two of Cups in reverse. Partnerships, unions, relationships, um, agreements coming to an end. No longer honoring them for whatever fucking reason. Okay. Opening up with Judgment. This is the most complex card in the entire deck. This is, of course, a major arcana card. Judgment is card number 20, two X's down below, two tens. So that's major, major cycle completions, closing out and, and starting over. Like a, a new journey is beckoning you to embark upon, right? So <clears throat> the judgment card asks us to make a judgment call. We're, we're being awakened right now. So we've been talking about the spiritual awakening journey that we as a collective are all on and we're all in different parts of it some of us it's our first awakening some of us it's our like sixth awakening it's it's all cyclical and scaffolded um, but right now we are all being awakened to something and to make a judgment call about something major in our life this is this is go time I keep hearing this across tarot channels too like this really is um <clears throat> this age of Aquarius I think is like big for all of us whatever we're doing this month and you know december is like in a in two days oh my god is december's tomorrow all right so whatever we're doing this week and this month is going to influence our energy for this whole upcoming year right so whatever it is that you're being awakened to or called to do or called to stop go with it pisces just go with the current flow with the waters you can let your guard down to seven of wands in reverse. Um, this judgment call, right? You stood your ground long enough. You don't have to be on guard for this. Spirit is asking us to trust and to let, let, let go and let God, right? 
because on this path you have the world in your hands you have the advantage here you have the vision to like you already know look at this guy he's looking out with the world in his hand and his wand in his other hand he knows he's turned his back to this path and that's okay this probably served a purpose right it helped us grow but now his vision is fixed he knows which way to go this is leadership this is coming into your own um bravo pisces proud of you always proud of you always this is this is a big deal okay <clears throat> sorry my brain just went somewhere I do want to point out, I was going to skip this, but seven wands plus two wands is nine of wands, right? And the nine of wands is that wounded warrior energy. I think that coincides with this judgment. Um, it's like the, the wounded warrior, you got knocked down eight times, but you stood up nine, right? Like you kept getting up. That's the work that you put in. So now spirit is like, okay, you did the work. Now you have the muscles, right? The spiritual muscles to answer this call and to go in the direction that you're being called to it is going to be profitable but what whatever profitable means to you it could be earth energy right it could be actual green money um could be stability of some kind adding to your security job opportunity a new career path um or just it could just be general peace in your in your world or if this is you exploring alternative um alternative lifestyle choices alternative career paths right like opening your own business getting to holistic healing plant medicine you know whatever the spirituality whatever the case may be it is prosperous and it is going to it is coming for you but again remember this knight of pentacles he is slow he's so slow that the horse has stopped right but it's he has to move slow because this pentacle coming for you it's actually so delicate and so precious and worth so much that he wants to be extra careful on his journey to you so that it's not damaged, it's not, um, you know, fucked up <laughs> for you, and it gets to you in the perfect ideal condition, because this has the potential to grow from a knight of pentacles to that king of pentacles energy, right? This is earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, so this could be somebody in your orbit that meets those descriptions that is offering you this, or this could be just the general energy um, coming towards you. You put the pieces where they go. The center anchored card for your reading is three of pentacles in reverse. Ooh. So three of pentacles. This is you, Pisces. You are hard at work. Your craftsmanship is on display. You have been dedicated and focused to whatever it is that you're doing. And spirit is behind you. Card number three. Three is divinity, right? Spirit is behind you in this gift, in this work that you've been doing <clears throat> on your own. But people are noticing. People are noticing your work. People are noticing your work ethic. People are noticing the effort that you put in and what you contribute to a team, what you contribute to a community, what you contribute to a relationship dynamic, right? What you bring to the table. That's being acknowledged. People may have even like asked to work with you in some capacity. In reverse is either you or these people or, you know, put the pieces where they go, whatever the situation is, is like, the teamwork, uh, either you don't want it anymore or they don't want it anymore, or the duration of this collaboration stage, you know, like the, the tour of duty, if you will, is like coming to a completion. People are still watching you, though. This is interesting. People are watching you, Pisces. That's two cards of being watched. Um, so this could be, you know, social media. It could be people in your waking life just observing you. It could be children watching your example, watching your lead, especially if they're an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, though. Um, you are being watched. There's even like a bird's eye view look. This like swarm of birds up top, right? How many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, shit. 10 birds. I say, oh, shit, because that's like the end of a cycle. And in this other deck that we use sometimes the ten of swords the swords i mean is all birds so i was just i don't know anyway sorry tangent um this could be somebody younger than you it could be a child or it could just be somebody who is um watching you from afar that bird's eye view so there are people probably there are it's likely that people are watching what you're doing from afar that you can't even see they're so far removed from your 
intimate circle, your immediate orbit that you don't even see. Take that as a compliment. Let the let the watchers watch. Let the haters hate. It has nothing to do with you, right? It's like, okay, I'm just out here living. So just keep living, Pisces. Now I want to point something out. This bottom row is blowing my fucking mind, but I'm being chill about it. 666. Six, six. Let me move this up. Sorry. 666. Six, six. So angel number 666 six, six for me is shifting your focus, shifting your perspective, shifting what it is that you are um, pouring your energy into. So when I see 666, six, six, I'm reminded, okay, I might be like ruminating on something and I need to take a step back. Or it might be like over giving my energy to one particular person, project or area. And I need to, pull, again, pull it back and refocus. Sometimes it's also looking at something from a different perspective. So I think Pisces, Piscean people, sometimes we can be hard on ourselves. We have like high standards for ourselves. And then when we don't meet them, sometimes we can beat ourselves up. But I, I don't, that's not going to serve us anymore in this new age, right? Like we, we really need to be, Susan, um, I don't know if you guys watch Susan's tarot. She's like amazing. She's my favorite. She's amazing. She said it this morning or yesterday too that like I think that we need to be like self yeah self soothing. We have to be kinder to ourselves, right? So take that as it resonates. We're opening up with the six of wands in reverse. So six of wands is receiving the recognition that you deserve. This is victory, completing a cycle. Um, having admirers but you not even noticing it like you're you're just keeping your eyes straight ahead um in this victory march right you're like cool i did it i'm here i'm well i'm marching towards harmony sixes in tarot are all about harmony this whole ass row is about harmony in reverse maybe you're not letting yourself be victorious right now that's also common right we can self-sabotage or be like I shouldn't have my face on YouTube or like, I sh you know, who am I to open up that business? Or like, if I message that woman, you know, that I care about, like, I don't know, is she even going to respond? Stop, stop, stop. Just let yourself fucking shine. Just let yourself shine. I'm talking to me too. I'm really not lecturing you. I hate when tower readers do that. But it's like, let yourself shine. Let yourself be you. And the people who are meant to see you in that way, they're going to see you in that way. Okay. And most importantly, if you see yourself in that way, that's, that's it. That really is it. Um, but so you might not be letting yourself shine or this team or this group or this partner, or this co-parent, whatever the situation is that you don't want to work with them anymore, or they don't want to work with you anymore, whatever it is. Maybe you weren't being recognized for all your hard work, right? And all that you brought to the table. I think that's super common in Pisces too because we're such natural givers that people like end up expecting it and sometimes, sometimes take advantage of that, right? Even if they don't mean to. Um, so you weren't recognized for this hard work, you know, or you're just like not letting yourself shine bright like the diamond that you are. And it looks like it, it, it either is causing or has caused a bit of resistance for you in leaving a situation it's like the desire is no longer there you're being called right to set out on this path and something's coming in these people watching you you gotta just let them watch uh, these people that you don't want to work with anymore you gotta just keep it moving keep it flowing right um and part of that is you actually moving and you actually flowing so whatever it is that you are resistant to leave you gotta just go you know that though you know what you need to walk away from you know what you need to release and if you're wondering like how do i release it though sometimes it's literally like you just stop just stop putting in the effort or the energy like don't send the text don't make the first move don't send that email you know let them come to you for others of you you might have to actually like leave a team leave a group leave a job leave a person like whatever it is you might have to actually leave do you have to announce it all the time no um you don't have to do that you can do that if that helps you but you can just like cut your energy off like reorganize your day right and that's going to actually restore the reciprocity this balance give and take that's actually what it's, it sounds counterintuitive right like if you stop doing and you stop giving you pull that piscean magic energy back boom then <laughs> harmony is restored and you get what you deserve and period and period end of story you get what you deserve because it's like you already gave right you're on this side pisces you gave a pentacle out you probably gave more than a fucking pentacle out if we're being honest okay 
it's your time to receive on this end, right? I hope that makes sense. Let's go another layer deeper. We're going to continue with the Rider Waite deck. All my decks I've got from um, Amazon, guys, except this one I got at a metaphysical shop in Binghamton, New York, when I was visiting my college besties. Okay, this judgment call is being clarified by two of wands in reverse. So now we've got two of wands out here twice. That's Spirit or Madam Uni being like, hello, hello, McFly, pay attention to me. So two of wands, it's making that decision, turning your back on the old, accepting what you've learned, the growth, acknowledging, you have to acknowledge this, Pisces, that you have the world in your hands, meaning you have the skills, you have the resources, you have the wherewithal, and most importantly, you have that connection of spirit that other people don't have as strong. You have it all and your passion and the vision and you're on your own here. This is your journey. It's nobody else's. You're indecisive. Just go. Just go. Just do. Just what are you being called to do, guys? What is what is what's scaring you? What are you indecisive about in the comments? Can you let me know what is it that you're indecisive about? Are you not trusting that you can do it? Or are you not trusting which way to go? Yeah, let me know in the, please, in the comments. Are you, are you not sure of which way to go? Or are you not sure that you are able to do it? That's an interesting question. The fool in reverse, you're like not taking this leap, right? Just further confirmation. Why is the seven of wands here, spirit? What does the Pisces collective need to know? Okay. Knight of Wands in reverse, Five of Wands, Lot of Wands. So this is this is passion. So I'm assuming this is um fire energy, right? Your passion, and I want to keep saying passion though. I want to I want to use a different word. It's like your go getter energy. That like what moves you, what drives you, what inspires you, and motivates you. It's something to do with that. This is like soul calling shit, right? So. Putting your guard down, seven, in, seven of wands in reverse is being clarified by five of wands, which is conflict. And knight of wands in reverse, it's like inconsistent fire energy, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, masculine. It doesn't have to be a person, but it could it could be, 100% could be. Um, but it could just be like the energy around you or your energy, right? Inconsistent. But five of wands is like conflict, training, um... A lot of noise, a lot of cooks in the kitchen, a lot of opinions, competition sometimes. It's like, let's see, what's 7 plus 5? 12? I taught reading, not math, for a reason. 7 plus 5 is 12. That's 3 of Wands. And 3 of Wands is waiting for your ships to sail in, right? I think you have to let your guard down in the sense of like, you're not competing with these people, Pisces. You're not competing with these people because there is no competition here, to be frank. Let them implode. It has nothing to do with you. It's not your responsibility. And for any energy that's inconsistent around you, that's also not for you. Inconsistency is toxic. And we all have bouts of it, right? It's like no shade. We all go through it. But for you and where you're going... You need to let your guard down and trust spirit. And part of that is looking at a situation for what it is, inconsistent chaos. You Right? We can sometimes romanticize a situation and be overly optimistic. Or, or is that just me? <laughs> um, you got you to gotta call, call this what it is. And like inconsistent chaos, that's not your jam. That's not where you're going, Pisces. You are a water baby. You need to flow. <gasps> Am I fucking psychic? What? Oh my God, we got seven plus five of wands is 12 wands. One plus two is three wands, three wands. You're patiently, you are leaving this nonsense and you're patiently waiting for your ships to sail in. God, spirit is so good. And again, look, you're, this is you on your own. You're a leader, Pisces. You are a leader. Let those ships sail in for you. It's time. All right, why is the two of wands here? Two of wands, two of wands. Three of Wands again, Six of Swords. So now you have Six of Swords out twice. You gotta go, Pisces, for your own peace. And it, maybe it's not forever, right? Sometimes you just gotta walk away from a situation, reset, breathe. 
this new journey that you're setting off on, it's going to require you to literally, some of you are literally going to have to actually travel to get away from whatever the nonsense is. Some of you might be moving. Some of you are relocating for a job. Some of you are relocating for a new relationship. Some of you are relocating for uh, exploration of this career path, or maybe maybe you're off on a healing journey, right? You're going on like plant medicine retreats, anything like that. Others of you, this is just like keeping it simple. From two of wands to three of wands, you decide on your path, and now you wait for the right ship to literally sail in, the right opportunity to come in, moving from troubled waters to, to calmer waters. But Pisces, it's going to be your responsibility to identify which ship is meant for you and and making the, the decision to leave whatever is not serving you. If it's not adding to this journey, it's it can't come with. It cannot come with you. It's not going to be an easy decision. When is it an easy decision? All right, Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Pisces? Okay, Page of Cups. I really want to like this card, but I don't. Okay, this is not about you. Knight of Cups, slow moving, prosperous energy. This is the beginning of something that has the potential to be emotionally fulfilling. Um, if this is a person, this could be a person who offered you something and it didn't turn out to be what you wanted it to be. Right? This could be somebody, or a masculine earth sign, that offered you something and it seemed really promising, but at the end of the day, maybe that pentacle turned into a fish in a cup, which is like a, a, a long tail, right? It's like not necessarily love bombing and breadcrumbing, but could be something of that nature. It doesn't have to be malicious though. It could just be like, oh, this, you know, I had an experience and this didn't turn out how I wanted it to. And maybe that's why you don't want to work with these people anymore. And they're like, what? Why? They're like, let's watch Pisces. What's Pisces doing? For some of you, this pentacle that's coming in with the Knight of Pentacles is not just a, an earthly offer. An earthly offer? What am I? I'm an alien. It's not just money. It's not just an opportunity or a position or, you know, something in your 3D realm. You, you know, your waking life, things you could see, touch, feel. It might also be something that could potentially lead to emotional fulfillment. Or romance you put the pieces where they go there's like a couple thousand people that watch these videos right so some of you this could have turned into a little romantic thing for others of you it turned into a little bullshit <laughs> thing um and for others of you maybe this um knight of pentacles energy is just really young maybe it's just like very very new and fresh right and um maybe you have some emotional excitement around it maybe you're rom romanticizing it Whatever it is, um, just be mindful, Pisces, of your discernment. Page of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, just, just remember, Pisces, use your Piscean intuition regarding anything that comes into you. You don't have to say yes to everything. That's scarcity mindset. Just say yes to what adds to your journey. And if you want to try it out to see, try it out to see. And if it doesn't work out, cut it, cut the loss. It's cool. It's fine. Three of Cups, cause for celebration. Um, these are the sisters of fate, beautiful camaraderie, friendship, coming together. Not going to keep them, but temperance in reverse might need some emotional balance. Why is the three of pentacles here in reverse spirit? Why is the three of pentacles in reverse? Eight of wands. So this is a lot of communication. This could be downloads, like intuitive downloads from spirit. Um, you might have been getting the call from spirit to stop working with this person or this team or this group or this company or um, whatever this like collaboration is. You might have been getting like the downloads to stop. Um, they could have been coming in like rapid succession. If that resonates with you, will you let me know in the comments? For others of you, this is um, speed, like maybe this went from three of pentacles upright to three of pentacles in reverse very quickly, right? Like people, you wanting to work with people or them wanting to work with you and then just as fast as it came in, it went out. For others of you, this could be like a lot of communication, like a lot of back and forth, a lot of like 
trying to collaborate, trying to negotiate for those of you who are business owners, right? A lot of back and forth, back and forth. And then maybe it just didn't work out. Let's get one more for this though. Let's, damn, hermit, Virgo energy going within to reflect. That's like deep introspection, um, meditation, shadow work, looking at yourself, looking at what you really want. That's great, Pisces. So there's like a little divine intervention here, I think. Um, I think that you were you were supposed to discontinue this working relationship, or if you're still in it and you're unsure, this is a little confirmation, like spirits behind you here, and and they want you to go inward to examine the lessons that you got from this experience. Not all experiences that end have to be a negative thing. As as long as we're like pulling out the lessons from it and applying that moving forward, we're good. Whoa, two of cups, union, contract, coming together. So it's like in reverse is how we opened it. That's interesting. Yeah. Page of swords in reverse. People watching you, right? Yeah, they're watching you. How many Pisces? How many doubles? This is so crazy, right? <sighs> Spirits like pay attention to these. <laughs> You are victorious, Pisces. You are that bitch. You are successful. You are radiant. You're different from the rest. You, you know, you lead with your heart. You lead with empathy. You lead with your intuition. Bravo to you. People want to watch it. People want to watch you like a show. So give them a show. If you want. Yeah, two of cups at the bottom still. Why is the six of wands in reverse? yeah you are not being recognized you are not being acknowledged for the star that you are you are not being treated um, or appreciated for the victory that you bring just your energy alone you, I've said it's this before your presence is a present period especially if you're a generator uh, anyway does anybody know their human design <laughs> or am I speaking a different language? If you are a generator, can you drop it in the comments? If you're not a generator, tell me what your human design is. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. We'll get into it a different day. All right. Um, not being acknowledged, not being recognized for what you are really doing and contributing. Now there's a period of mourning and a period of loss, a period of grieving. Anybody who loses you should be in this energy. And it's okay if you are also in the energy of mourning not being seen for who you are and what you contribute. That's okay, Pisces. You're allowed to feel sad. You're allowed to be like, damn, I really thought they saw me. It's okay. Feel it. And then when you're done feeling it, turn around because you have two cups behind you. And two cups is all you need to get going, right? Just because you lost three doesn't mean you don't have anything you're not left without right it might be a challenging emotional time but that's okay four of cups something might be coming in that you don't see that you don't expect look focusing on those three of cups focusing on those three of cups don't focus so long on the loss that you miss what's coming in check your emails today uh check your emails today you might have like offers coming in customers asking to work with you collaborators wanting to partner with you check your emails today Six of Swords in Reverse is being clarified. Yeah, that's my girl. Hi, Priestess. That is you, Pisces. Look at you in your crown with the waning, full, and waxing moons. Three stages of the moon. Well, there's like more than three stages of the moon, but trust that intuition. Trust what you know, Pisces. Trust what you've seen, Pisces. Trust what you've seen, you don't need to stick around. Again, inconsistent, impulsive behavior. You do not need to be around anybody that exhibits that. That is not how we flow in the water, right? Um, Knight of Swords in reverse, that's air, energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Masculine in reverse is like impulsive. They just, they act first, think later. And there's, again, inconsistency here. Trust the inconsistency. Or if somebody was like, as fast as they were in, they were also out. Trust it. And if this is you, if like you were in something and you were quickly like, you know what? This isn't for me. I'm out. Trust it. Trust it. Don't beat yourself up, Pisces. And let them watch you leave. Who fucking cares? Give them a show. Wear something cute. Do what you got to do. Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Pisces? 
don't know why I just got so annoyed, sorry. Six of Pentacles, this equal give and take, restoring this balance. Whoa, King of Swords energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, this is like head over heart decision making, truly. Head over heart decision making. It's so hard for us sometimes. This King of Swords energy, this is what we need to channel um, when we need to cut those emotional cords that seem to be like really draining and really difficult to get rid of, right? Let's get one more on this Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Sometimes we have to mirror other people's energy and behavior towards us so that they feel what it is that they're projecting out. And I know that's uncomfortable, Pisces, but that is how you can protect yourself. And that's an easy way, a harmless way, I should say. That's a harmless way to show people what life is like without Pisces in it. Further clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, a slow moving energy, another pentacle coming in. What's interesting is like, Right, we talked about there's two pentacles on this side, three on this side. And this, to me, this pentacle is like, oh, here, 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 I want to give this to you. So maybe this is somebody who is um, in this very stoic decision-making energy. It could be a masculine air sign around you, but it doesn't have to be. But it's somebody who's like really thinking, really strategizing, really using their head to make an offer to you. And it might be very slow moving. It might also not be enough. Um, but the effort towards restoring reciprocity might be there for some of you. So if that resonates with you, that you are going to have to use your discernment to determine if this um, pentacle that this knight is offering is enough for you to stay in a situation. But no joke, Pisces, you got to go. If you haven't left whatever it is that you need to leave, you got to go. This is saying you got to go. Yep. Justice being restored. Another scale. Balancing the scales. One sword up in the air. Sword is decision making, on guard, boundaries, right? Card number 11, master number 11. I forget what master number 11 is. Can someone tell me what master number 11? I have to get a list. Um, but that's angel number, right? Um, trust yourself, Pisces. You got to protect yourself first and then everybody else will be taken care of. If you want to click off now, that's cool. I'm going to go one layer deeper because I'm on one today. I'm surprised the girls haven't visited us. Where are my babies? Oh. Do you want to read? Oh, okay. We're going to go one layer deeper for everybody. The moon in reverse. No, we're not taking that. Let's do this. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, please help me in pulling insights for the Pisces Collective. Whoa, the star. Judgment. Two of wands in reverse. Not sure which direction to take, which path to go down. The star. Wish fulfillment. Go down the path that is, maybe it's the most unrealistic path, Pisces. Go down anyway. You're not going to get like logical earthly advice from me. I'm going to tell you every time to go after what your heart wants. I hope that's okay. And if that's not, there's other readers that are probably more grounded than me. Go after what you want, Pisces. You are so supported. You have a divine light about you. The star card breaks down to number eight in numerology, and eight is about abundance. If you're worried about money, it's going to come for you when you put yourself in the energy of receiving. And by answering the judgment call, putting that guard down to leave this toxic situation and trust spirit, it's like you're leaving one team of humans to join the team of spirit. And that is the team of wish fulfillment. That is beyond any contract. That is beyond any team dynamic here. That's what's going to heal you and shower you in abundance. Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. Let's fucking go. Why is the Seven of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Seven of Wands here in reverse? Three of Cups. <laughs> Celebration. Camaraderie. Who has, who has a back tattoo? Um, sisterhood. The Sisters of Fate. Did this come out before too? Maybe it was at the bottom. Um, by doing this, by following this path, by letting your guard down and acknowledging the conflict and the inconsist inconsistency is not for you, you're going to find your tribe, find your support system, find your people. But right now, it's toxic. Whatever that situation is, it's toxic and you have strings attached to you. Anything codependent is, that's, that's low vibe. We're not fucking with codependency anymore. I read a really good book. Let me see if I have it. 
Yep. My therapist from a few years ago had me read this, The New Codependency, and we like, there's work, um, like not workbooks, but like quizzes in here you could take to, to help with codependency if that's something, you know, especially if you're from families with alcoholism or substance abuse. Um, it's really helpful in like deconstructing, deconstructing those um, toxic patterns we have. Seven of Wands in reverse again, let your guard down. You can let, trust that spirit is protecting you. You can let your guard down. You don't have to think about this so much. Oh, well, I put that down that way for a reason, I guess. So Seven of Wands is out here twice now. Trust that spirit is protecting you. You don't have to be so heavily on guard. You can literally literally just move with spirit and everything will be handled. But you got to move. You have to leave. You have to leave the situation. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Generational wealth. Happiness. Abundance. Job stability. Um, properties. Again, generational wealth, right? Passing things down. Um, family card. Beautiful. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here with the Page of Cups? If you guys are still here with me, <laughs> the 36 mark, can you let me know? Lovers. Damn. Okay. <laughs> this younger person may have offered you like a work opportunity, a team position, um, a love offer, a contract, a home, could be a real estate agent, right? That's what this is, is like, it's partnership, it's union, it's contract, but it could, again, it could also be love. So for some of you, it is love energy. For others of you, it's just like general like um, collaboration agreements. Um, the lovers though is Gemini energy. Who, what feminines have a shoulder tattoo on their right side? All right, why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? You're not going to believe this. The devil again. It was toxic. You knew, or you know, tomato. Tomato, tomato. Page of Wands in reverse. Again, could be someone younger. Could be Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Doesn't have to be. Could also be you not going on this journey because you know it's toxic right or not partnering with this person because you know this is codependent or this is not going to add to me it's going to take from me why the, is the page of swords here in reverse why is the page of swords here in reverse it's too many but look again knight of swords leaving quickly six of swords in reverse not leaving <laughs> four of cups not seeing what's in front of you i think this now I'm just on repeat, right? Spirit is letting us know the second we leave this toxic situation, whatever it is, and it doesn't mean that this person is toxic, right? I'm not not calling anyone toxic or, or name calling, but the chemistry mix of the situation might not be conducive for you, Pisces, as a sensitive being, right? And it might be blocking your vision from seeing the blessings that are around you that you can turn into something more emotionally fulfilling. Page of Swords again, damn, a lot of people watching Pisces. You might also be learning something right now, but I think that's just people for real, people just watching. Okay, Page of Swords in reverse. You are victorious, people watching you be victorious. They're watching you on your horse. They're watching you on this victory march. They're watching you march towards victory, success, recognition, appreciation being clarified by the King of Wands in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. So who is this King of Wands? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Might might be big time Sagittarius energy, but it could be any of those fire signs or not. This is someone who owns a business, CEO, entrepreneurial energy. Um, they're very passionate. They take what they want. They ask for forgiveness later, right? It's a little bit selfish in reverse or it's a little bit hasty in reverse, like quick to make decisions quick to um decide on things make moves and then later on they're like ah shit that probably wasn't the best idea right six of pentacles is that balanced reciprocity to me it looks like this person is not contributing to this reciprocity and maybe that was a problem maybe this is a boss maybe it's a teammate maybe it's a family member father figure um could be a romantic partner friend anything like that this could also represent if you own a business, this could be your business as an energy. And maybe you haven't been putting in the equal, like the work that needs to go in for things to be balanced and free flowing. But 
because you, six of wands is out here i'm like it, you're doing something right though right so if that if that last one resonates with you just like re reprioritize 666 refocus right refocus your energy but for those of you who that's a masculine energy or somebody in your orbit who is not as giving and, and a little bit stingy or greedy or takes advantage or doesn't you know appreciate doesn't um offer gratitude right somebody that doesn't offer gratitude let them watch you let them watch you no sweat you know what's up you know who you are eight of wands in reverse in reverse yeah eight of wands in reverse so it's like could be a lack of communication maybe there's a communication issue with this person maybe they like lack communication skills in expressing gratitude or appreciation or it could also be like um there's been stagnancy in this business situation or stagnancy with this person but not stagnancy with you you seem to be rocking and rolling oh yeah that was just flipped nine of cups wish fulfillment on your own see how it's an independent wish fulfillment card there's no couple here there's no family here that's you why is the six of wands in reverse with the five of cups too many came out but the king of wands did nope i didn't mean to say that king of swords did come out again maybe this king of wands is that king of swords for some of you right somebody who bops between this like fiery energy and then this logical overthinking energy why is the six of wands here in reverse spirit eight of cups in reverse you didn't want to leave i know it's hard leaving people you never want to you never want to people make people feel abandoned but the thing is you're not making people feel abandoned if you're preserving your energy two of cups yeah this agreement some kind of agreement as fast as uh, damn as fast as it came in it's coming out this seems like this was like a could be like a whirlwind romance a whirlwind like quick experience um, of some kind short-lived partnership or collaboration um, but the knight of swords is fast moving energy it's um impulse it's like this is like fleeing this is like getting the fuck out maybe that's what you need to do though right maybe that's what you should embody right now three of swords in reverse maybe there was some pain in this situation and it's like lingering and maybe you thought the pain would go away i think this card is asking us to like look at the pain with clarity right like are there still imprints on your heart it's showing up for a reason and maybe it's like starting to heal right you're in this morning stage perhaps some of you um if it's starting to heal that's beautiful but make sure you give yourself that time to let it roll out right feel the feels why is the six of swords in reverse here high priestess knight of swords in reverse your intuition is strong pisces you know that just whatever that voice is telling you even if it doesn't make sense just do it <sighs> just do it you're being called to this is what the calling is to leave whatever this is because there's something way bigger on the horizon for you this is like to me this is like the calling card from god they're like this is your higher self like you're wasting time in this bullshit and there's something so much more rewarding and fulfilling on the other side i can't believe the doubles in this reading guys judgment out twice is wild to me for some of you the number 40 might be important somebody is turning 40 you, your house number is 40. I don't know. Um, 40 breaks down to four, which is about stability. So for anyone who this is about, like, your home, your career, your boss, your finances, like, stability, that makes a lot of sense, right? Seven of, um, I, I'm not going to put this anywhere, but seven, uh, the chariot came out in reverse. This is Cancerian energy, the emperor coming in hot and fast, victor hot and fast, victorious, um, heading towards their victory balance of the light energy in the dark but it's in reverse so it's like there's a rut here how many of you are feeling stuck what's an emoji for stuck can you drop a red x in the comments if you're feeling stuck if this resonates with you if you're feeling stuck you really the momentum that you need is leaving you have to leave wow you are learning your lessons pisces though ah. four of pentacles showed itself we just talked about four stability security holding on to your coin i know you're probably very mindful of your finances and what's available to you right now resource wise trust in spirit i'm not saying make any like rash financial moves although if you did i would never judge you because whatever this life is a game anyway <laughs> this card keeps it is crazy you're learning you're being watched and that's okay you should have fans you're lovely but you're also learning
balancing the scales, balance, bringing in what's fair after a period of, um, you know what? The six of pentacles, this like restoration of reciprocity and balance in regards to this king of swords energy and what he's offering. It looks like either he or his higher self is attempting to balance the scales, but there might actually be like impatience tied to this. If you feel haste or impatience around any offer that comes to you, you have every right to slow things down, take a step back, reflect, like express yourself, whatever you need to do. If it's a difficult decision, take your time. Let's get one more on this Six of Pentacles. What is this King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles energy? It does look like there is some like fairness attempt in, in rebalancing what is owed to you. Um, it looks like you've planted a lot of seeds here and you've like, you are growing an investment or the growth of the pentacles you planted in this situation may be starting to grow and this person might be realizing it and seeing it in some capacity, reflecting on it. And that might be why they want to like offer you something. But again, Pisces, at the end of the day, remember you are the star of this show. If you're not being treated as the star of the show, then you go somewhere else because that's it. End of story, period. Thank you so much. Pisces, let me know how this resonated. Um, if you are with me for 46 minutes, oh my God, you are a real G. I'm, I love you. I love you. Thank you for being here. I hope this was cool for you. Um, if you want to book a personal reading, I'm going to pin that link as I always do in the comments. I've been loving giving you guys readings. It's so fun to give readings to people who love reading, right? Tarot readings. I mean, book reading too, maybe. I don't know. If you're interested in that, I would love to read for you. I have 30 minute readings available. You get a video reading just like this and you can watch it at your leisure. It's private. Nobody else will see it. If you want to do a live reading, that's 45 minutes live over Zoom with me um, where you'll see the cards, but you'll also see me and you can ask any questions as we go along. You can ask two questions or focus on two different topics in that time together. If you, um, and again, if you need Reiki, I of course offer Reiki sessions virtual and in person if you're on Long Island for in-person sessions. Thank you guys again. I really appreciate you and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rainy day. <laughs> Bye.